Hey, and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Now, um, if you've ever seen the first ever video I did uh, for Back From The Future, um, my YouTube channel, uh, you'll notice I mentioned something about me talking about my inventions. Now, you might have thought to yourself, I mean, look, he's like, how many videos in? 40, 50 videos in and he hasn't really talking about any of his inventions um is he talking a pile of turd is he just talking is he just waffling well today's uh video we're going to be talking about one of the first i say one of the first inventions i think i've invented quite a few things uh but i what i did was well this is my black magic pocket cinema camera now originally when this camera uh, was coming out I was like blown away I mean if you take this lens off I mean this thing it has the dimensions of an iPhone 5 um, or a Galaxy S4 um, obviously it's a lot thicker than one of those cameras um, I was just blown away about it 1080p I mean true cinema camera in such a small form factor and to this day it's still current you can still use it um, I don't think I'll ever sell this um, I will continue to uh, I mean I haven't even used this thing in anger the whole thing about it is before this camera was even released I had uh, gone through the specs that Blackmagic had set out on their website and I realized the shortcoming of this um camera which was that it uses the nikon el20 battery so let me just pop one out for you and uh, the thing about the nikon el20 battery is this thing is so utterly utterly small it's it it's it's pathetically small and you know I'm not an Einstein or Brains of Britain or whatever or any Stephen Hawking but I realize that this battery is not going to be able to power this camera for any considerable amount of time so going through the specs and realizing um, that it had a, an external uh, power socket that could take up to I think it takes up to you know up to 20 plus volts this camera um i decided that m by the time they released this camera if i could make an external battery for this uh camera and maybe even pre-sell it before the camera is released then i'll make a nice bit of uh wedge or money um, now this was all guesswork at the time um, and I didn't really have you know proof of concept that this idea would work so I began work anyway um, I enlisted a cup uh, and a friend who came up with it I um, some concepts of making a battery holder for this camera but first of all before we jump into the battery holder we decided to use one of these batteries um i got hold of them from a supplier in china and uh i figured that these batteries would be sufficient to run this camera for a considerable period of time i'd done the maths and i'd worked out that i could probably get about three to four hours out of this battery compared to well black magic claimed you could get 45 minutes but i was lucky to get 20 25 minutes out of one of these batteries at a push so we decided on the battery we were going to use and the great thing about this battery is uh it has a 12 volt output and it's got a battery indicator so it'll tell you what the battery level is so that was sorted and then we got on to designing um, the actual battery 
So my battery bracket consists of uh, three parts. A quarter inch UNC nut, this little bracket here, and this little cross bracket. I've got a video in the corner that you can see me printing out um, these two parts. But by the time I shot the video, um, I'd run out of red filament. So you're gonna see this X uh, bracket being printed in black. So what I'd do is I'd get the quarter inch UNC nut and place it inside the space that was made for it. It's a little bit fiddly. Ah, it's gone in. Then the cross would gently fit inside here and I'd push down on it and I'd get run a soldering iron and sort of 3D I mean and uh, plastic weld these two parts together so that UNC nut wouldn't come out. I'd then get my battery and it would I'd be able to push it inside here. Once I'd done that, I'd get one of these quarter inch adapters. So that would screw underneath where the UNC bolt was. And I'd get my black magic pocket cinema camera. And I'd screw that in there. Right. I'd then get the power lead, which I think was a 2.5mm jack to a 0.7 DC jack. Go in there. And you pop that in there. Now and that made it, didn't make it too large. Now, when I switch this on, I'd always keep the Nikon battery in the camera. So if I had to swap out uh, the battery or I had to disconnect the battery, it automatically go to the battery, backup battery that's inside here. So I could swap the battery out or um, if I needed to take this battery off to make the unit smaller, I could do that, not a problem. And if I wanted to put that battery back on, I can do, and I can plug it back in here, and I'm ready to go again. I mean, the thing about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is it's a cinema camera that's the size of a small compact camera, much like the um, Sony NX5 uh, that I'm shooting with at the moment. Um, so the great thing is I can shoot in um, locations where normally if you had a larger camera you might get stopped by security or the police. Um, you know, if the police pull you, um, stop you, they might ask for a permit. But if you've got a black magic pocket cinema camera, less likely to. It looks like a point and sh uh, shoot uh, still camera. So I started selling these before they even released the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, and which was a bit of a risk because it might not have worked, but I was pretty sure I'd done my maths right. So as soon as this camera was released, um, I started selling these uh, brackets, um, and you know, they, they sold for a very long period of time. I'm sure there are some people who are watching this video who have, you know, now you can put a face to the product, you know, if you'd bought one of these and were using one of these. And like I said, um, normally you'd get 20 minutes out of the battery and with this uh, 3D, I mean, with this battery, you'd get, be getting three to four hours. I mean, mind you, if you'd used a speed booster with this, you'd probably get um, slightly reduced recording times, but not by much because the speed booster itself uses a lot of uh, current. I mean, this battery is a 12 volt, 3800 milliamp hour uh, battery. And, um, you know, to charge this would take 
um, it's a 12 hour charge or I'd usually uh, charge it overnight so there you go one of my first um, inventions that I'm showing you on this channel but one of quite a few many things that I've come uh, ideas that I've come up with and introduced to the marketplace and you know helped other people in the filmmaking community to uh, shoot their movies so I hope you like this uh, video um, if you want to join me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, feel free to do so. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and hopefully guys and girls, I'll see you in the future, if there is one.